I don't have a whole lot of spare time, this guy. We got lights, we got camera, we got microphone, and Craction. Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Rooster's Nest. My name is The Rooster, and every morning I go live right here on Vigo, as you know, and on YouTube to read to you all from this book called The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo, because there is a beautiful insight for every single day of the year so that we might all feel some peace at the start of our day. My goodness, so that we can wake up to our true potential. Am I right? Like we're not meant to just be in these nine to five jobs day in, day out, doing something we don't love, living for the weekend so we can sit on our ass watching somebody else live their life. You know what I'm saying? That's not what we're supposed to be. So we can have a little piece about what it means to be alive. And then maybe it'll help us get in touch with our true selves so that we can find happiness and peace. <laughs> Am I right? So anyways, that's why we read from this book every day. Hey, Tenny, welcome to my live. My name is The Rooster, and I'm here every morning to read to you from this book, The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And then we pull a card from this deck called The Nature of Infinite Love and Gratitude by Dr. Darren R. Weissman. Because <sighs> there's some really beautiful nature images in here, and every card, it's a 52-card deck, and we pull it at random so we know that it's the universe's message for us that day. You know what I'm saying? Moon Nine knows. And every day it's very fitting to what we need to hear, I believe. Yes. So we pull it at random and we receive an insight from this as well. And then once we do those two things, then I perform for you in some way because I'm a little drag king and I like to do it. It's good practice for me for when I'm on stage one day. And also I like to do it. So I hope that you like it too. So why don't we get started? We got lots got to do today, you guys. Holy crap, there's never a dull moment in this guy's life. My whole freaking family is coming over for Thanksgiving weekend, and I have to help my mom get ready for stuff. Plus, I have my own full-time gosh darn job, and I found out somebody's coming over tomorrow that I don't, tonight, that I don't want to see. So I am not coming home tonight, so I got to pack a bag to go stay at a friend's house. <laughs> That's the rooster's life in a nutshell. <laughs> Here we go. October 8th. Yes, October 8th says breaking the jar. Breaking the jar. A man raised a baby swan in a glass jar. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. Because I've literally made it this analogy about myself. And that my family literally put me in a glass jar because they thought I was so precious and beautiful just the way I was as a baby. They put me in a freaking glass jar. And I'm breaking out of it! Okay, anyways. A man raised a baby swan in a glass jar, but as the bird grew, it became stuck in the jar! The man was caught now. For the only way to free the thing was to break the jar, killing the swan. No, don't. I mean, yeah, like you got you got to kind of like kill the version of me that you thought I was. Say goodbye. I'm sorry. It's you can be sad about it. It's fine. That's a Zen saying. So a man raised a baby swan in a glass jar, but as the bird grew, it became stuck in the jar. The man was caught now for the only way to free the thing was to break the jar, killing the swan. OK, moral of the story is don't put a living thing in a glass jar. OK, just don't do it. They don't belong there. This parable speaks powerfully to the clear containments we set about the ones we love. Never imagining that who and what we love grows, God damn it! What we set about as parameters out of fear or it, arrogance or even out of the best intentions of protection can suffocate the very thing we hold precious! Oh my God! <laughs> Ugh. even more devastating and subtle are the ways in which we jar ourselves. If our mind is the man raising the bird, then the swan is our heart. Thanks for the taps. <laughs> yeah. 
Too often, in an effort to protect ourselves from being hurt, we place our soft and growing heart in a clear jar of distrust, never dreaming that the heart continues like the baby swan to grow. Too often, we can contain our way of being within our way of surviving. <sighs> this is how and this is how we can wall in our hearts over time. And even the most unassuming and cautious of beings can find themselves having to break their hearts, their way of feeling in the world in order to free themselves of their hardened, clear resolve. But many of us simply live within the hardness if we can call such a constraint living with the, such suffocation of heart and mind. Rachel Naomi Remen wisely asks, is it possible to live so defensively that you never get to live at all? Who's Rachel Naomi Remen? I should check that out. At the heart of her question, and this little Zen story is the difference between surviving and thriving. That's the thing. You put something in a glass jar. It can't thrive. It's just barely surviving. Between existing and living between resignation and joy. As human beings, our distrust builds a hardened resolve <clears throat> over our innocence, the way that silver tarnishes when exposed to air. Only the quiet daily courage to be can let the air soften our hearts again. <sighs> quiet daily courage, guys. Quiet daily courage to be let the, to can let the air soften our hearts again. Okay, I am am quietly being sometimes, but sometimes I'm, I'm loudly being, and I hope that's okay too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. That was our insight for today. Very beautiful. Don't keep yourself in a glass jar. Moral of that story. Don't put, don't keep anybody else in a glass jar. Okay. Especially children. Freaking let them be themselves. Gosh darn it. And now it is time for our meditation. Imagine the last time you felt vulnerable or hurt but didn't show it. I'm pretty good at showing it. <laughs> um, okay, you all do that because <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, I guess probably with family. That's probably it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. What has happened inside you for not showing your hurt? Oh, fucking clenched ass heart, man. That's what happens. Heart is like a rock, painful rock, a rock that feels pain. Sorry, I need to get rid of something. Imagine that moment of vulnerability again, now in the safety of your solitude. Hello, James Dempsey. We're doing a meditation right now. Soften the moment and let the original feeling through. Receive yourself the way you would have wanted others to. Beauty. Wow. Thank you, Nepo. Nepo! Oh! How is it you always know? All right. So now it's time for the nature of infinite love and gratitude. Ooh. 
gratitude. It's the attitude of gratitude, guys. No matter what. Even if you're having a bad attitude. Just I this is what I do when I know I'm having a bad attitude. I'm like, okay, goddess, please help me. I'm having a bad attitude about this. I need some gratitude. Can you give me some gratitude, please? Because <laughs> I know, I know that the ticket out, freaking freedom comes from gratitude. So that's the first step is knowing that. And then practice. I'm saying thank you all the time. I started this um habit where with each step I say thank you, thank you as I'm walking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it I'll find now that especially if I'm starting to feel some negative feelings, if I'm starting to feel down or doubtful or scared or angry or, you know, ungrateful in any way, I like all of a sudden notice that I'm doing that as I'm walking. I'm like, wow, I'm already like, I'm already working to get myself back to the positive and the light. It's a good habit. You should try it. All right, here we go. Shuffling. What's it gonna be today? What do we got today? What's it gonna be today? What do we got today? Ooh, what's gonna be today? What you got for me today? We don't know. Oh, oh, oh. What's it gonna be today? Okay, I kind of pulled two, so we're gonna do that. It is enlightenment. Enlightenment. Ooh, look at this crane with our little baby. And then the other one is healing. Healing and enlightenment. They go hand in hand. Okay, so we just had this one not too long ago. So we're going to start with this one. And enlightenment. I don't usually do two cards. It's a special day today. A single moment truly lived is the same as living a thousand lifetimes. I actually was just having this thought yesterday in a, in a way. It was like, I feel like I'm living many lifetimes in one lifetime. Anyways, a single moment truly lived is the same as living a thousand lifetimes. Hi, diplomat. We are, we just pulled this card from a oracle deck of sorts, and now we're reading the insight about it. The wisdom of the universe teaches me that each moment is genuinely experienced. When I awaken to the power of infinite love and gratitude, the key to mastering the game of life, infinite love and gratitude. You have it. It's in you because the universe is in you and the universe has infinite love and gratitude. So goes without saying you have infinite love and gratitude inside of you at all times. And that is the key to mastering this game called life. A single moment truly lived is the same as living a thousand lifetimes. The wisdom of the universe teaches me that each moment is genuinely experienced when I awaken to the power. Uh, each moment is genuinely experienced when I awaken to the power of infinite love and gratitude, the key to mastering the game of life. And I will just say, just because you know how to play the game, don't make it easy. <laughs> That's the whole point. We wouldn't be doing this thing called life if it was an easy game. It's a challenge. It's fun. Healing. What's it going to say? What's it going to say about healing? It's like a... What do you call them? Are they cones? Like, are they baby cones? Probably, right? Little baby cones on this evergreen tree. My evergreen... Every single cell in my body and each and every relationship in my life is designed to heal, regenerate, and be whole. It's true. Your soul comes to this lifetime to heal. It chooses all the people that, that are meant to you're meant to encounter 
yes, it's painful, but that's because of all of the pain from the past that you have to face and feel to heal. So it's giving you the exact thing you need to be able to heal what you need to heal. Yes, every every single cell in my body and every each and every relationship in my life is designed to heal, regenerate, and be whole. Thank you for the tops, my dear. Ah. Uh, well, that's an interesting name. That Dyke Stacks. Yay. Thank you, Nature of Infant Love and Gratitude. Okay, so now's the part where I get nervous because I have to perform for you all. And lately I've been forgetting words. Um, but I've really practiced this time, okay? So I'm just going to do my best. Gosh darn it. Here we go. So, yes, I'm still using my little iPod because I haven't gotten a new mm -hmm. phone yet. I put in a claim for the LA airport to see if my phone was turned in and it was not turned in. They got me an email, sent me an email being like, your device was not turned into the lost and found. Goodbye. Ugh, fine. That sucks. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's, everything's fine all the time. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Class. Ick. When I walk through a jam, no one knows who I am. Put your head on my chest, and I'm Mr. Success. Never, Never closed me a deal, all at once I'm a wheel. Just your head on my chest, and, and I'm Mr. Success. Why, I once knew a worrying man, he was a hurrying man, with, with never a second to wait. He, he had appointments to keep, lots of people to meet, and it took 30 hours to make him a day, not for me. Not, not who I, I want to be. Just your head on my chest. Ooh. And I miss the success. Yeah. I wish I could do how to play better. I once knew a worrying man, he was a hurrying man, with never a second to play. He had appointments to keep, lots of people to meet, and it took 30 hours to make him a day now. Whoa, not for, not for me, not, not what, what I, I want to be. Put my love to the test, that's, that's when I'm, I'm at my best. Cause with you, pretty baby, stand by my side. I couldn't be a failure even if I tried. Cause you make me Mr. Success. Mr. Success. All right. Not too shabby. Oh, hey, thanks for the romantic confessions. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Oh, man, I swear to, like, that's, yeah, I gotta practice even more in order to be perfect. You, nobody's perfect, right? But it was okay. Thanks for the, thanks for the love. I do like that song. One day I'll perform it so wonderfully. Ferrari, I'm sorry, but 
Yes, you haven't seen me in a long time because I haven't been on here in a long time. You know, oh, oh, it's you. Okay, I think I know. Yes, yes, I know who you are. Hi, good to see you. Yeah, I'm back on Bigo every morning because, yes, yes, I remember you, Michaela. Nice to see you again. You changed your name, so I didn't know who you were to start, but I know who you are now. Good to see you. Thanks for coming to my live. Yeah, I'm here every morning. I have a show that I do. I online stream both on Bigo and on YouTube, The Rooster's Nest. Thanks for coming in. I uh, disappeared. Yeah, full-time job. You know how it is. Two, two jobs. Thanks for the taps, Moon Nine. Yeah, uh, so anyways, um, that's the show. Um, Michaela, if you want to come join us tomorrow morning, I read from a book. We have a little bit of meditation time. I pull a card. We have some more, a little like meditation time. And then I sing a song for you. Which corner? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I, everyone keeps calling me a prostitute. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. I got to wrap this up. So I will see you all tomorrow. And I got to get started on my crazy day. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. You mean. You too. I'll see you all again next time. Have a great day today. Remember our Nepo insights and our nature of infinite love and gratitude insights. And love yourself. Don't keep yourself in a jar. Remember, you can never fail if you never give up. Number two, everyone is someone and number three if you ever feel down all you have to do is say <laughs> and the rooster will be with you take care now goodbye i love you i'll see you tomorrow bye bye youtube thanks for tuning in see ya tomorrow's and i'll figure out that streaming thing sometime soon